and welcome back to fucking strange eyes looking at me from a fucking alternate dimension or something. Hey, Gator Snapper back at Frambo. Uh, quick apologies. I think, I don't know when the Dark Souls episode where I mentioned this comes into fucking uploading schedule or whatever, but if you can hear, uh, hear like, kind of obnoxious and gentle whirring that's not my loud-ass screaming computer, that is the fan I have positioned to just, like, blow squarely on my face to keep me at an adequate temperature because... God, this fucking room is too hot when I start recording. But anyways, hey, Mystery Room 103, going uh, into the gross, like, I don't even know what the fuck's in here, but I left off on a cliffhanger last time, so I might as well check it out this time. Or I could just stand here, like I have been, for the past, for like, 45 seconds to a minute, and, you know, just do this for the rest of the episode. Yep. Super enthralling, isn't it? Why, I could do this just all day. Alright, no, even I can't fucking do that. I'm gonna go crazy just waiting around. I wanna see what the fuck this... Oh. Well, I just suddenly kind of appeared here, didn't I? Okay. Hi, everybody. Tree with eyes, uh... Animals with red eyes, and, uh... Uh... No, I... Oh, wait, those are big de deedly worms, aren't they? Although, no, maybe not. They don't have the scythe claws. Uh, hey, can I talk to you, buddy? Creature from above, get out from Mabuka's den. You're not welcome. Uh, excuse me, but I'm looking for my cat. I need to wake up Mabuka. Just Mabuka. Mother Mabuka for you, arrogant little infant. I'm ten. And this time I don't mean to have the way to just fucking really drive to home my sexual innocence. And, oh wait, how do you plan to wake her up? Ah, I'm a tree, see? Ooh, he's got a cool little scar across his eye. The crazy ideas of Cogwind? No. Uh, Cogwind is a nice clockmaker. He's not crazy. I mean, everybody I fucking know is already crazy. Or, I don't know, crazy in concept. Ah, so you know him. I assume you've been to Ithirst. Ah, horrid place, I may say. Too dazzling. I like my good old fucking gore and viscera H.R. Giger shit myself, please, and thank you. But that's exactly where I want to go after I find my kitty. Good for you. Your fragile little mind will be safe there with all those boring creatures. I'm going now, you wicked tree. My kitty is waiting for me. Well then, that was a fun little discussion. Ew, it moves. Ew, what is that, a sphincter? Oh, the floor is beating like a heart. Is this Mabuka's heart? Hmm, feels fragile and strong at the same time. That's something, I guess. Uh, do I really want to take the... No, I don't want to take the time to talk to all these. They said the Cogwin is... The... Yeah, this thing, right? Yeah, this is... They said this was, like, to use to wake her up, right? Uh, oh, use the weapon with Mabuka? Is it a weapon? I don't think we should piss her off. She's obviously some kind of, like, evil god or something, but... Ah, what the hell, I haven't gone here by not pissing things off. Wow. This is the most obnoxious fucking alarm clock I've ever seen. It's just like sensory assault on all levels. Hi, evil fucking prehistoric god, Jesus. Ah, beware of Mabuka. This is the fucking voice of an evil super god. Let's make you maybe put a little bit more effort into it. Oh, wait, hold on, I've got the perfect voice I've been working on for this. Ah, it's weird to do, though. The awakened darkness rises from the unknown. Oh my god, that is so fucking disturbing. It's perfect for her. Oh, I, I'm sorry to wake you up, Mother Babuka, but I need a favor from you. Also, why is your voice completely different from everything else I've ever met so far? Usually I'm used to phoning it in. Uh, Can somebody tell me who the creature is? Oh god, I can't do it for too long. Quite insolent for such a tiny body. Oh, it's so weird. It's, it, uh, excuse me, but I can answer that myself. I'm Franbo, a uh, human girl, 11 years old. I'm very brave, so you know. Don't give a shit, little girl. Hey, uh, uh, human in my book then. That's amusing. Who brought you here? Oh, God. Oh, it's so weird. That that, that would be Remor. I, I think he's your son, isn't he? Didn't my son manage to enter your head already? Y you mean, like, cutting my head open? I don't think so. It's amazing I can understand what you're saying. Did you drink or eat some sort of really potent or beans? Oh, I can't do that. No, it's... Uh, it's terrible. I hate that voice. Can't do that for too long. Also, I wouldn't call it beans, but, uh, yeah, I took some pills. Beans? My pills look like red beans, so, yes, I took a whole bottle. Wow. And I cannot use violence against you. This is my more fucking civil voice. The power has been unleashed. I hope you'll find beneath the ground the truth that you seek. Okay. How much further can I go in this place? I'm already in, like, some weird fifth reality nonsense. Uh, thank you, but what power has been unleashed? Can you tell me? Uh, the power inside you, don't you know? Yeah, yeah, phoning it in now. You were selected by the five realms of essential existence to be the keeper of the key. Very cool stuff, child. The five realms of essential existence was created parallel with time. 
But what, 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 what are you talking about? I'm 11. Why would I be this fucking magical thing? Keeper of the key, who told you this? The great Velokas from Primeve told us everything a long time ago. Huh, Primeve. Wait, are the Velokas the good ones? I don't remember. Wait, Kamalos are the bad ones. Okay, yeah, Gl so Velokas are the good ones. I guess Primeve is just a fucking long time ago. The Keeper will be hunted by the Son of Darkness after feeding from the Red Seed. But you're too young, I must say. Too young indeed to be the Keeper of the Key. There's something about you. Did something obscure happen to you? Gee, I wonder. What fucking... I mean, I honestly have a bunch of things to pick from, don't I? All sorts of nonsense. I think Remora killed my parents, Mother Mabuka. Can you imagine how it feels? I don't have parents. I'm a primeval god from god knows where. Ha, ironic. God knows where. Uh, I'm all those feelings, Franbo. I'm all the sinister, all the darkness you can imagine. You're actually surprisingly civil for being all those things you say you are. I feed from tears and sorrow, from desperation and fear. I imagine my voice is supposed to be a bit more extreme than this, but it's a Sunday. It's a lazy Sunday. I'm just chilling in my Mabuka den. But then you don't care for more killed my parents? I thought you were nice. Have you seen my face? Do I look like a nice person to you? I'm curious about knowing the reason, if that makes you feel better. Ah, she's sort of sweet. Now understand. It's the reason itself, the truth you're seeking. Go on, Keeper of the Key. Be brave now. Get the fuck out of my place. I'll open my heart for you. Oh, good. Just when I was asking how much further into this fucking weird shit I can go, apparently I get to go... Oh, wonderful. Get to go into her heart. And she's crying again. Or she's been constantly crying, I suppose. All right, well, let's see what this next fucking... Oh. Huh. Who knew the heart of the fucking goddess of all evil or whatever would have some fucking soft jazz music or whatever? What? No, what's it? Oh, it's not called soft jazz. It's like elevator music. What the hell is this? This is not what I was expecting. It's locked, but it doesn't have a keyhole. All right, what about you, baby chest? Uh, hi, hi, how are you? I'm Franbo, the legendary. Oh, that creature's body's made out of baby faces. The bath boys have said something about this. I think it's a hijacker. Oh, yeah, if I smell good or bad it eats me i don't know let's not fucking tempt it uh d oh wait do i know you from somewhere Man, you took something from me didn't you you little thief oh isn't that oh that's the brown haired nurse wasn't it where's my knitting needle at eh? did you sab all your little friends with it what what knitting needle are, are you the dead nurse i saw back at the oswald asylum oh maybe it's not who i thought it was do i look dead to you eh you little beast take a number would you and wait for your turn in the waiting room but, Miss Nurse, I don't need medical attention. I just want to find my kitty. Take a number and wait. I won't repeat myself, and I will stab you. Cool. Why is your fucking... Whatever she's knitting is bleeding, and I don't appreciate that. Kind of scary. Alrighty, then. To the waiting room. Oh. I, uh, I thought this was... Oh. Wait, do I hit the button? Bling. Oh, yeah, because they're... Okay, cool. So I have my numbers. I'm uh, number seven. Cool. Is that lucky or something? I hope I get a good one, because it totally matters. You know, a good one would be the fucking number one, because then I could go there now, or relatively now-ish. Okay, what do we have in... Hello. So this is the waiting room, huh? Nice people. Gotta say. I wonder how long I must wait. Hours, maybe days. Ha, I've been waiting for a week now. How long has everyone else been waiting? Mm, I've been waiting for like a month. But I have number two, so it must be my turn very soon. God, whatever the fuck number one is doing is taking all the time in the world. I've been waiting for three and a half weeks. Totally hopeless. What are you? Brain, hair, mask thing? Uh, ahem, excuse me, everyone, but there's is there a way to make things go faster? No. Yes, become a doctor yourself. That'd be faster. Huh, true enough. And by doing that, you could also help us all. But why won't you become a doctor yourself then? I'm just imagining Fran Bo just like takes that to heart and goes to like medical school, comes back 10 years later to take care of them. But then they're all gone at that point. Uh, I can't because I feel very sick and doctors can't be sick. I can't, my R eye is blinded. Ah, your red eye. You're like a TV and an elephant and a goat and I guess part of a rat. Honestly, you're just kind of a whole mess. I have this broken horn, you see. I can't be a duck. I must be a patient. Neither can I. I've lost my ability to fright myself in front of the mirror. Because it's oh so important to me. Well, I'm not sick at all. Please, let me go before you... No, why would they listen to you? You're not sick at all. You, you'd go last. I can't. I don't even know what illness I have. That's why I'm here. Uh, hmm. But how can you not know? Do you feel pain somewhere? That's a very hard question. Make it softer. Just gets all like soft, like, do you feel pain somewhere? Mm -hmm. 
Uh, how can I make a question softer? That's very strange. Hey, have you tried pulling your eyes off? It helps sometimes. He doesn't have eyes. Stupid. Ah, enough. It's impossible to talk sense with any of you. Of course you can't make any sense of this. You're not the one that sees it all. Eh, you've only known us for a few minutes. That's very little time to understand it all. That is very true. Good advice there, um... Goat head. Hmm, that's true. But would it be nice? Uh, but it it would be nice to use some common sense. Why? What does common sense do that uncommon sense doesn't? It's understandable. That's what it does. Well, it helps to better understand each other. We well, we do understand each other very well with our uncommon sense anyway. Oh, I think I read that with the wrong fucking. Uh, what do you call it? Not intonation. The thing where you hit your words at different... Yeah, fuck it, I don't know. Yeah, yes, we actually do. We do respect for differences. Hmm, but who is the one that sees it all then? You mean Mabuka? No, Mabuka knows everything, stupid. It's not the same as seeing everything. Oh, that big eyeball, right? Now, I'll want to wait, because talking will make the wait go faster. Huh, alright. Thank you for nothing, nerds. So, is there anything I can do here? Uh, ooh, ooh. It's just boring, okay. That's scary. I think, oh, hello, phone. I think my horn won't grow again. I'm going to be very angry because of that very soon. Oh, I should stay away from him when he does that. You see the screen, I have number two. It's almost my turn. Yep, you'd think. Can I fuck with that? This must be the number display. Hmm, I have number seven. Take ages to get there. Hmm, I must get a better number, like number two. My R is broken. So, if I can somehow make this guy feel better, I could take his, his card. I don't really have anything to make him feel better. I could kill him. That's always a solution. I like that plan. Let's kill him. No, there's got to be something else to do. I can't go through here. But I can go back up. I think they did mention the one who sees all. So, so maybe, um, what's his face? Big Eyeball. Maybe Big Eyeball can help me out. And he was 102, I think? Yeah? No, he was not 102. Wait, I didn't... No, I did not go up the elevator to find him. So, 104? God, there's so many fucking weird doors to go through. Uh, yes! Okay, you. I need your help with some things and stuff. I hope you find your cat friend soon. I still see him inside. Okay, cool. Uh, too late. I can see everything, remember? Cool, can you see, like, the solution? And was this always here? I don't remember. And it's transparent. Yeah, I don't fucking know. I don't know. Maybe I don't need to go all the way back here. Huh. Huh. What should I do then? Talk to Mabuka again? Doesn't seem like she wants to talk. Can you please wake up again? Ah, I have so many questions. What does it mean to be the key keeper? It means you keep the key, stupid. God, fucking understand these things. Are you number one, by the way? Because that would solve all my problems. No, you're not. Okay. It's locked. It doesn't have a keyhole. Hmm. Weird. This is like not really much to gather from these three areas. Yeah, if I could get your fucking thing. You see the screen? I have number two. It's almost my turn. Is that like a hint for that? I really don't have any eye. Oh wait, maybe since I still have the crayon, maybe it's no, it won't do. Of course not. Because every fucking time I think of something that would work, it doesn't work. Just add a little fucking line right there. It's a two all of a sudden. Come on, Fran, use your brain. Um, does this help at all? What if I give, uh, here, take my family pictures. Negative! Take the knife. I'll stab you. Yeah, this won't work. It would work, it just probably involve a lot of yourself dying. There's really not much. No, there's nothing here. Did I talk to you? My R is broken. The big guy told me that because she. Oh, it's a she? Oh, that is unsettling. So. Uh, and you waiting was just boring, can't yeah, wait. Yeah, from what it sounds like, they're telling me to go talk to the eyeball monster. I'm sorry, not monster. It's my turn to talk with the nurse. If you don't wait and leave us alone, I'll tear you apart and eat you. Ew, you eat children. Did you know that we children are actually immature? Hey, leave the patient alone now. The doctor will determine the severity of the illness. Don't you worry. Okay, so that is number one, it seems. Taking all the time in the world. Wonderful. Just like waiting in an actual fucking hospital. It just... I really feel stupid for checking again, but it sounds like they want me to fucking check on the big eyeball. It's the second time that one of the characters mentions it. And it says nothing. And you're a she, apparently. I'm sorry I could not tell before. It's weird. Huh. I guess I'll just fucking work on this off camera for a bit. And, oh boy, that'll be fun. But yeah, for now... 
understand this episode right here, and hopefully pick up on the next one with an answer. So yeah, Spinning Gator Snapper playthrough. See you guys in the next one. Later, everybody.